Hi guys, welcome to Ray's Scrap Room. And I have a project share for you all today. Um, this swap was for over at Ink the Edges, and it was a steampunk tag swap. I know it's not due yet, but I like to do things ahead of time because I swap often. Um, that always helps if you have tons of swaps to do. Um, so I just did it ahead of time, and um, I'm also part of a Facebook page called Scrap Maidens. That's www.facebook.com slash Scrap Maidens. We also swap on there as well, but I do mainly swap on Ink the Edges. It's where I do all my bigger swaps. Um, but we're looking to expand to do bigger ones on the Facebook page, but for, to make it easy for everybody that, you know, is a beginner, we just have been doing the tiny swaps for now. Um, but again, this swap was for the Steampunk tag, and my partner was Lindsay, and so I'm just going to jump in and how I've done everything. Hang on a second, guys, my cat. Dude. <laughs> He just fell off my chair. Oh, goodness. Um, anyways, uh, what are you doing, dude? You want to say hi to everybody? Well, apparently he's getting up here anyway. Say hi, Darth Vader. <laughs> That's what he wanted was to get up here. So I'm just going to let him walk on by. Come on, buddy. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> All right. Come on, dude. Come on. All right. Say bye. Okay. Anyways, now that my cat has his time of the spotlight, um, this was for Lindsay, and I put, uh, I stamped an L on here, and I put glossy accents, and that's another thing that people have been asking me what I do the fake raindrops with. That's like kind of my signature thing. I do it on my cards. I do it on everything I do. And it's called Glossy Accents. And it's by Ranger. I don't know why my camera's not focusing that well, but... There we go. Oh, maybe. It's by Ranger. And... It's just called Glossy Accents, and basically I call it like liquid plastic. You just, you know, over time you have to stick a needle in here to get the hole back out. But, you know, I just, you know, dot it around and make cool um, artwork with it. And I've used this about four years. I love it. And they always sell it. It's by Tim Holt stuff. Now, I don't know about Joann's and stuff. They're Michael's, they're next to the Tim Holt. But Joann's, I think they're a little bit down farther in the aisle there. But I think it runs about $5, depending on where you live, its prices. But I think I picked this up with a 40% off coupon for like 2 or $3. So, and I've had this same one for a long time, and it's still half full. I'd say two years now. Yeah, two years, and it's still half full. And I use it all the time. Okay, so what I did, though, is the whole tag itself is a vanilla file folder, or manila, manila file folder, goodness, um, it's front and back manila, but in between is chipboard, and it's very sturdy chipboard, you know, so she could put this in a book or just set it on her desk, whatever she wants to do. But before I did everything, as I took inks, I took Stampin' Up! inks, I took Tim Holtz inks. You can use regular stamping ink like Tim Holtz ink. You just have to work it a little bit differently. And I used Tempting Turquoise and Bashful Blue. And then I did Worn Lipstick and Vintage Photo and some Forest Moth by Tim Holt, and, but that's what I did in the background, and I just stamped, my cat just knocked stuff over, <laughs> goodness, um, thanks Darth Vader, I gotta clean a mess up now, oh goodness, hang on guys, just one second, dude, you're gonna fall, oh my goodness, 
What are you thinking? You're gonna fall, dude. That's not gonna feel good. Anyways, okay. He got up in our safe and everything, so <laughs> I was worried he was gonna fall. Um, anyways, um, but I did stamping after I inked everything. Now it's gonna be warped and stuff, but that's what I, I glued it to the chipboard and took my brayer and went over it a few times and it sits completely flat now. Um, this is a Tim Holtz stamp and I'm in love with this stamp. Joni sent me this in a swap that we did with each other, I'd say a year ago, a year or two ago. And I've loved it ever since. And I just did some glossy accents on his eyepiece to make it look like he had that little glassware. Um, I put for you right here. And I did the same thing. I did some embossing. This is Manila folder. I just made it lighter to contrast. So, and then this is a Hampton Art um, hot air balloon stamp. I am in love with hot air balloons. I am have an obsession with hot air balloons these days. But, you know... They're pretty cool. Um, I just took some stickers, put Explore Fly World Voyage. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's glittery her L. I put um, embossing powder on it. I did not emboss that. That's some glossy accents, but I put it on there and then blew it off. I think it gave it a good effect. Um, and I stamped Create, and then there's like little bees in the background. That's like my signature stamp. It was in the dollar bin at Michael's two or three years ago. And I'm in love with it. I use it on everything that's steampunk or anything that's vintage. This is an Inka Dika Doo stamp. I just did the same thing. Took some worn lipstick in the bashful blue and rubbed it. Um, did another embossing butterfly up here and some stamps. That stamp is actually from the 70s. It's by Graphic, I think. Let me look. Where did it go? I have so many stamps, I don't even know where they all go. Okay, here it is. It's by Graph Stamp. Um, Imprints Graphic Studio 1977. And I do collect stamps. And this one was like a bunch of birds. And I don't know if they're still around or not, but this is pretty cool. I wash all my stamps and reuse them. I know they're collectible, but I love to still have use out of them while I can enjoy them. But, yeah, this is from 1977. I think my dad was, like, six years old. So it adds a little touch, and th I love anything old, anything vintage. So I thought that would work really well in the background here. Um, I did some more of the bubbles around everything. I don't know if I can get my lamp closer to be able to see all this. But you can kind of see it. I will have some still photos to try to incorporate those at the very end. Um, but yeah, that's what I did for the front. And I just put some laces and fibers. On the back I did Scrap Maidens and Ink the Edges. She's on both our Facebook page as well as Ink the Edges. This was for Ink the Edges, but I wanted to incorporate both because those are the two places we swap the most. And I thought this would be fun to incorporate it. And this says, Made for You because you're priceless. And then I put my my signature. But I did the same thing, inked around it and put two of the, the bees. Made it pretty simple. Because you're not going to, I mean, she could display it this way as well, or this way, but I just made it flat so there's nothing that's going to stop it from sitting up. So there, I'm out of breath, oh my goodness. Um, but there's my Tim Holtz steampunk tag with a little twist of my own. Um, but I thought she would really like it, and I know she'll appreciate it. She also lives in Michigan. I know there's a few ladies that, there's a, a lot of ladies actually on Scrap Means that are from Michigan, which I enjoy because it's nice knowing that someone's around. Um, so this will get to her pretty quickly when I send it to her. 
Um, but yeah, Lindsay, this is your tag, and I hope you like it. Now, my second share is from Sabita. This is also, I think I'm saying your name right. If I'm not, please let me know, but for now, it's going to, that's your name is Sabita. Um, this was also a swap on Ink the Edges. It was for the pocket letters. Um, this was just a project share I'd like to, um, share with you guys. She did some really cool stuff on her envelope. Now, some of the stuff I haven't opened yet, so I am just going to open it with you. And I really love how she did this. She put a pocket in a pocket, so she actually, yep, she let me take this stuff off so I could use these still. Um, looks like this can come out. It's a chipboard piece. It's a mason jar. I love mason jars. So I can use that on my stuff. Oh, that is so cool. It looks like she made this paper clip. She did. Awesome. This is so cute. I might have to steal that idea of folding it over and gluing it like that. That is a neat idea, Savita. Very gorgeous. Thank you. Looks like that was part of the paper. It's a butterfly. So cool. This is her pocket letter. Oh, this is the same paper I used for Lindsay's. This is so cool, Sabita. This is even cooler. She's from Texas. And she put a little Texas piece here with a heart where she lives. That's so nice in her picture. And a little bobble. That adds such a nice touch, Sabita. That's so nice. Looks like she gave me some goodies. You can feel it. Um, she did like a little corset. Little hello tag. I don't know if that can come out. No, but it's stuck to that. Um, little butterfly I could use. Little gold heart little applique and some roses. I think that's a rose. That's a homemade rose. And I don't know how she knew this, but I'm in love with hot air balloons. <laughs> Just like a minute ago. This is so cool. I am in love with this. If this is a die cut or a Cricut die cut, please let me know because I am all over that. That is so gorgeous and pretty little teapot with a banner that's so cool and some lace and it looks this says run butterflies embrace the earth and sky discover a ray of sunshine with a little butterfly and some bling oops party foul <laughs> let me get that back in here and flip it over sorry guys I have the tripod in between me this time it's just so you can see it better. I realize the backwards way you can't really see much. So I'm going to try and figure out new angles for my camera. But it looks like she gave me some washi tape. So cool. And I will read this real quick to myself. She was born in Nepal. That is so cool. She loves shabby chic and Parisian. I think I said that right. She enjoys new crafting trends. That is awesome. And she has a chihuahua named Sugar Daisy. That is so cool. There's more to that, but that's more of a personal note, so I won't read it all. Um... Oh my goodness, if I can even get it in there. I'm looking through the camera, not my actual view. But thank you for this washi tape. I will definitely have use for that. And she made me some homemade paper clips with some ribbon and stuff on those. And then she gave me some more ribbon. She gave me two bags of sparkly goodness some mason jar dies that she made and put some stuff on there that's so pretty then she gave me a piece of like a a ribbon piece of um, bling 
And then she gave me some circle pop dot stickers. Those are so cute. It says love, affection. And she gave me some black tea. I don't really like black tea, but I'm going to try it because you never know until you try it. I'm more of like the... I think green tea is more my thing. But I'm going to definitely try it. It says vanilla. And that's something I've never tried before. So, thank you. I'm definitely going to try that. And then she gave me some chipboard pieces. So, she definitely did an amazing job on this pocket letter. There's no real wrong way of doing the pocket letters. And I'm sure I'm going to have another swap for the pocket letter up on ink. Um, not ink the edges. Jesus. Um, on... <laughs> Um, I can't talk today, guys. I don't know. It must be the weather. We're having some really crappy weather here in Michigan. It's gloomy and dark. and um, But, anyways, I'm going to probably have another pocket letter swap because apparently a lot of people have, in have had interest in it on Scrap Maidens. And they're so easy and fun to make. And I'll tell you a little bit about how we do those in a minute. And... A lot of people were interested, so I'm definitely probably going to have another one up here later. Oh, this is so cool. I didn't notice. It's a heart stick pin. I don't really have any stick pins right now, but the really tiny ones. So this will be nice. I can use that in my one of my projects. And it's a heart. Thank you. So this was her pocket letter, and they fold up like this. So I'm definitely going to put that back how it came. And I've got two more shares real quick before I end the video here. Okay. So, the other one I'd like to share is I got a envelope in the mail from Ink the Edges. Debbie and Connie run the site. And I've been a member since they first started, and I didn't know until yesterday or the day before that they sent um, us something in the mail as a thank you for being here for one year, which is their anniversary was yesterday, I think, or the day before. And I was really shocked that they sent me a gift card that was very nice of them. They sent it to all the original ladies that first signed up, and I just wanted to show you they sent a pretty envelope and I took the gift card out but it looks like they made me this little gift card holder and again I love hot air balloons how do they know they know me really well now <laughs> and it was in this little flap here I thought this was so cool and I want to thank them they have given me the the option to keep swapping I was part of mini album scraps and they ultimately had to charge people to be on the site, but shipping cost was a little too much as it is for me, so I couldn't continue swapping on there. But a year ago, Debbie created Ink the Edges, and I could continue swapping. And then, you know, this year, I'm a part of Scrap Maidens, and Aaron created that. So I thank you all, and everyone who watches my videos, because without you guys, I would not be doing this still. So, a big shout out to all of you. Thank you. Now, last but not least, this swap was from Brittany. And we are doing a swap just to, together. It was random. We chose to swap each other a ton of goodies. And this is the first time I'm going to be opening some of this stuff. We just swapped a lot of random stuff. Oh, that's cool. Little, um, oh, with pieces to put your charms on. Oh, my goodness. My cat's doing it again. Hang on, guys. Come here, waiter. No, buddy. You're going to fall. Come on. Let's go. Now that I actually took him out of here, he won't be falling anymore on the safe. I don't know why he tries to get up there. It must be like his little kingdom up there. Anyways, um, but it looks like she sent me a bunch of fibers and laces and some wine cork. I'm definitely going to be using those laces. I have a whole bin of laces. I'm addicted to lace. Every time I go to Goodwill or something, I definitely 
try to buy as much lace and appliques as I can because they help at a cheaper cost because sometimes it's more expensive, Goodwill is, but it's right down the road and more convenient for me than driving 30 minutes the other way. So, she definitely gave me a ton, a ton of goodies. Pretty, that is it's like a sheer ribbon lace. Gorgeous. I'm not going to go through it all because I'm already at 20 minutes on my video. But I will share a few things. I'm going to share those co wine corks. I haven't done an altered wine cork yet, but I'm going to definitely try it. It's definitely new to me. So she looks like that's an applique. Yeah, it's a little one. That's so pretty, though. I could use that on a little itty bitty mini. Okay, it looks like. Oh wow, she she knows I love Hello Kitty, so she sent me all of this Hello Kitty paper. She already told me about that one. This paper is so cute. I can make pocket letters with this. Definitely, definitely pocket letter size. I, let me get my template. I think they are. Oh yes, I made a template out of paper. It always helps making a template for the pocket pages so you know exactly how much room you have. These papers are so cute and very colorful. That one's very colorful. I won't show them all because I'm pushing time here because it takes forever to upload on YouTube if it's long. So I'm going to just hurry through these. She sent me some stickers. Oh, oh it's my initials. RLH. That is so cool. Thank you. I could definitely do something with that. These look like stickers. Am I opening it? Oh. Opening it wrong, apparently. Those are stickers. I won't open those. <laughs> All this Hello Kitty paper. I'm going to love making pocket letters with that. I think that's cute. Definitely. Thank you, Lynn. Oh, goodness. Brittany. I get Brittany and Lindsay mixed up because they both live in Michigan. I do believe Brittany does. But thank you, Brittany, for the swap. And all of your goodies that you gave me. I'm definitely going to have a use for every single thing. And that's what the joy in swapping is, everybody, is you can give stuff to others that, you know, they you might think that you might not use, but, you know, other people will. And that's the fun in it, is you get new stuff for, you give your old stuff for new stuff. And I was also going to share, I got this at Goodwill. I think this is like 80s, 90s. But it definitely looked 50s color. I love the color because that's my favorite color is blue. It's not purple, but the camera looks like it's purple. Um, but it's an address book. And I love that the tabs go down the side. I mean, I might take the actual address pieces out, but to keep the tabs and make my own so that I can go through to people who I frequently, frequently swap with. And write down where they live so I don't have to keep asking every time. But I thought this was nice. It was a dollar and it's so nice. I can add like a little ribbon to keep it closed so and it's good. It's own little binder. I thought that was a nice share for you guys. I might do something with. Um also now for the pocket letters. I wanted everyone to know that just because you don't have a whole lot of stuff you can actually scrapbook on a budget. So what I did was I went to the dollar store and I went to the dollar bins at Myers. That's what store we have here up in Michigan to Kentucky, I do believe, is Walmart and Myers. But if you're everywhere else, um, Michaels has dollar bin spots and the Dollar Tree. These came from the Dollar Tree. They're stickers and um, spiral clips and these stickers. 
um, all a dollar. And these were at Myers in the Dollar Bin spot. They're chipboard pieces. They're really, really cute. And if you cannot afford a whole lot but still want to swap, this would be a good idea for you. I also have dollar um, papers, but I don't know if I can find them offhand. Yeah, I think I can. I left them out, I think, for this video. I'm trying not to push time too much. I'm getting a little up to 30 minutes almost, but these were dollar cardstock pieces. They're paper pack, six by six, and aren't they gorgeous? For one dollar, you get the the paper, and then one more dollar, you get the chipboard pe the die cut. So you can make pocket letters on a budget. So maybe you already have some ribbons and laces, but you could get brads. And these are dollar stamps. This is this means a lot to somebody that doesn't that's starting out or doesn't have clear stamps, you know. And these are for the clear blocks. So for a dollar you could get, make someone's day, you know, and that's the whole fun of swapping. And that's what I'm going to do is the next pocket letter I make, I'm going to stick one of these clear stamps in there because believe it or not, they do fit inside the slot. So I am so happy that they do and this is going to make someone's day and make a really nice gift for a pocket letter. So anyways, that's just an idea if you want to participate but you know money's tight sometimes and I understand that. And that's why I'm giving you ideas, because this is a wonderful, wonderful idea if you want to participate. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and stop this video, because I'm already pushing time. But thank you guys for watching. If you want to comment and subscribe, you're more than welcome to. Um, I, have day I have videos all the time. I haven't been doing them every Tuesday, like I, you know, Tag Along Tuesday, but... You know, when I can, I make a video from time to time now for swaps and project shares. But I thank every single one of you, and have a good day. Bye.